what are we talking about? We're talking about routines and action stacks. And yes, it's uh, a little bit funny to talk about routines and action stacks. I actually think they are very similar. Um, but there are two tools that I use to save myself hours of effort on a regular basis. And especially in my business, but even in my home life, um, these two tools are just really easy to set up, although they do take a little bit of time to set up. And it helps so much with creating habits um, and routines that it's really designed to work with the way our brains work. So thinking through the steps of an activity takes brain energy. And once a set of steps becomes routine, i.e. a habit, the conscious brain doesn't have to think through those steps all the time. It doesn't have to use the energy to think it through. It becomes muscle memory, therefore energy saving. And that's what we want to do. As many things in your day-to-day -day life that helps you maintain your day-to-day -day life or business activities, um, are worth taking a look at creating routines around. And that's because you use less energy. And when you use less energy, you have more time and effort and energy to put into the deeper work, the creative work, the things that actually bring you a lot of joy. So this is the way to get through the stuff you have to do as quickly as possibly possibly possible. And with as uh, little effort, as you can get away with, and that might even allow you to delegate it to someone else in the future, but having the results be very similar to what you get yourself. And so the action stacks are designed to help you set those routines and practice them until they become a habit. Um, that's why I use the action stacks, just until it becomes a habit. And then to regularly review to make sure I'm not letting something fall through the cracks. But it's basically a concept I learned from Chris Brogan and Rob Hatch when I participated in their owner program. Um, and it's a way of creating the checklist to help you help support the routine items you have to do. So instead of rethinking, how do I set up this weekly live um, scenario? I have a series of steps that I go through when I get ready to do these lives, more than organized Monday lives for you. And they are on a checklist. And on Mondays on my calendar, it says Facebook Live. And then I can open my action stack about what I do when I'm doing a Facebook Live. And it has all the steps. Um, some of you might remember when uh, I began doing this, that there was some trials and tribulations over what order to do things and if it was going live everywhere and it kept updating and changing week to week. And then it finally began to hold steady a little bit. So every week when I would use my action stack that I originally um, started, I'd have some updating to do because things had changed. And so it gave me a place to know where to put that information without having to put little reminder papers all over the place. Um, and I actually use the reminder app in my phone for my action stacks so that I see it on my calendar and then I can just click over to the reminder app and, and grab the right list to do that activity. Um, they're called stacks because often there's pieces of activities that are used in multiple places and you can stack them. So you can use the how to start a live video and then more specifically when it's for a more than organized Monday version of a live video versus when I do a reel or just to go on and make an announcement or because something interesting occurs to me um, that I want to share. You may, may or not may or may not find it interesting as well. Um, it's also helpful to have action stacks for the things that you do occasionally. So uh, what comes to mind for me is always, you know, how do I pay my estimated taxes when I do that four times a year? Or what's the process for getting all my documentation ready for the tax accountant, right? What, what do I have to do for that? What is my end of month routine for getting my books in order and checking on my KPIs and things like that? All of those things can be action stacks. And then you refer to them and it works great. 
And then one day you might say, hey, I wonder if my VA could do that instead. And you hand it off to your assistant and she says, well, where do I find out about that? And you share the action stack with her. So all of these things come together to help you spend less time and energy working on the things that you do regularly enough that you shouldn't have to spend that much energy on. But if things are scattered around and you haven't formalized your step-by-step -step process for it, chances are you're working too hard at it. Um, it can be everything from how you make a sandwich to brush your teeth to how you launch a big time program. So don't um, let the volume of things you might need to turn into routines overwhelm you. Just start with the simple ones, the, the routine things that you do each and every day. Do your daily ones and then do your weekly ones, and then your monthly ones, and then your quarterly ones, and then your annual ones, maybe even at your occasional ones. Um, so you just fill in as you begin working on them. Um, a few weeks ago, I talked about the checklists and how to use those. This goes hand in hand with that. It's a kind of checklist. Um, so before, I think I talked mostly about the, the daily ritual of, of setting up and starting your day. Same concept, just refer to it as an action stack. And on your calendar, you can just put end of day and you know where to find the details about how that works. All right. I found this to be the easiest way to create more freedom while retaining control over my days. And I hope you do too. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, comment, turn on notifications, and tell all your friends to join us next week. In the meantime, have a delightful day.